Well, I'm, I'm not an architect. I'm a businessman. I've basically been involved and am involved in uh, media, telecom and uh, technology companies. And uh, architecture has always, always been a hobby for me. Of course, I had read about Norman, but my first physical encounter with his work was in uh, Barcelona on occasion of uh, the uh, Olympic Games in 1992. I visited the communications tower of Colcerola and was very much impressed by this completely different concept on what a communications tower should be. Uh, maybe three or four years later I, I, I assisted to the opening ceremony of, of, of Bilbao's uh, underground and uh, it was an amazing experience because of, uh, of the nature of uh, the underground concept as developed by, by Norman but as well because of the, the immediate impact and the immediate uh, movement of love of uh, Bilbao's inhabitants towards this new fact in their lives which was the underground as conceived by, uh, by Foster. If you are a good architect, it might well be the truth that the end result is beauty. And beauty becomes an icon. So, there are two kinds of icons. The icons on purpose and the icons that derive from a social and personal commitment with truth and purpose. And I think that this second kind of iconicity, if I may say, is uh, Norman's. What's great about Foster, and that's an interesting point about his uh, look at urbanism, is that uh, he, is a, he is a creator of space for freedom. He has a certain sense of um, giving a context where everyone and every different person can find its way and uh, regarding uh, the new uh, city world and regarding m mobility I think that this idea of not trying to channel people through certain roads but to create open avenues that can be used uh, by different people for different purposes and that are flexible so as to uh, generate space for creativity and for individuality and for difference. I, I, I would call Norman a neo-neoclassic somehow. Uh, he is a neoclassic in so far that uh, and it's, it's maybe, uh, it's maybe uh, um, it can be shocking but uh, if you go through his notebooks, uh, what he does there is not much different from what uh, Leonardo did when, when, when he was uh, sketching flying objects uh, and uh, different uh, instruments. It's, it's this kind of attitude, what I really like about Norman is where he starts from, which is what leads them to real architecture that eventually becomes iconic. What I would say is uh, that the education of architects has to adapt to this very fact and uh, the architect will need to evolve as a kind of integrator of many different practices and many different views. It's not anymore the isolated person that has an idea and designs an icon, to get back to my previous comment. It's, it's, it's a person that knows about the purpose of his profession uh, and is, he, he, he becomes the vehicle whereby all sorts of different kind of knowledge can be integrated in a physical working solution. 
architects should always start with purpose, values, truth, data, science, and of course beauty as a result of the two former stated.